Hello, hello, and happy Fun Fold Friday, everyone. I am coming to you pre-recorded <laughs> this week. I hope you all have had a wonderful week. I have been having an amazing time here in Salt Lake City. But anyways, let's get on with today's uh, Fun Fold. So I'm going to be sharing with you what's called a Triangle Accordion Pocket Card. And I am using some brand new product that just got released. It's called Latte Love a little latte. It's so cute. Um, I can't wait to share it with you and uh, share this card with you. And actually, there are going to be two cards because all of the cutting that you use to make this card, um, it makes sense to go ahead and make enough for two cards. Okay. And plus, it's uh, got a lot of pieces, a lot of moving parts. Um, and so if you're going to make one, you might as well make two. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's uh, switch camera views here. Okay. All right. So this is the triangle accordion pocket card. And here's the accordion part. Okay. And it's just these triangles on here that just fun triangles. And then here is the pocket. And in the pocket, you have this little gift card holder. Okay. So all these parts, um, I think you're, it's, it's a fun card. And then it sits up on the desk like this. I mean, you can't see it very well in the camera, but, um, yeah, it would sit up on the shelf like that. All right. To make this card, the measurements are going to be on my blog. So uh, not blog. I'm sorry. Yeah, they're going to be on my blog. But if you want a downloadable PDF to print off because it would be easier to see it printed off, um, you'll get that later today in an email that's scheduled to go out. OK, so uh, be watching for that. And then also you can go to the blog creatingwithchristina.com and you'll see it there also. Okay, let me hide these so that they're not in our way while we're putting this together. So this is the new suite I'm talking about. It's called La Lotta Latte. And uh, here's the Latte Love stamp set. It's got bird's eye view of coffee mugs with the really cute steam, the milk uh, designs. Then there's the regular view of the coffee. And then this this would be to stamp in here. So you have, you know, the coffee in here. Um, let's see. There's coffee drops, coffee beans, a spoon. Hello there. Let's catch up. Thanks so much. This one's on me. And you're the best part of my day. And then the dies. Um, usually dies are really cool. But these are super cool. These make a uh, French press here using cardstock. And then um, this one makes the traditional coffee craft. And there's a couple of coffee mugs here, spoon. Um, and these cut the, the stamps out right here, cut these out. Okay. So that is the stamp set. Then here is the paper. Isn't this cute? So um, I love the color scheme. Calypso coral, the early espresso, the lemon lolly, the lost lagoon, the pecan pie and the petal pink. And um, one side of course is designs and the other side is like kind of generic uh, style. Um, you have little coffee beans here. You've got that latte design here. You've got coffee splatters, coffee cup rings. These coffee mugs here and these coffee mugs here can be cut out with the dies there. So that's awesome. Um, and then this plaid. Is that not the most, I just, I love plaid. And so it incorporates all the colors and it's really pretty. So that's that. All right. And then these dots, I don't know if you, oh, I never can do, I got to zoom in, cool dots, and then zoom back out. <laughs> and then finally the ribbon. There's also a ribbon that's included. So if you purchase the whole suite, this is everything you get, um, or you can do it all a cart. Okay. Just remember that when you do purchase the bundle, though, you do get 10% off um, when you do that. All right, enough of this. Let's get to making the card. So let me put all this back here. Here we go. Like I said, the measurements are going to be on the blog, but they're also going to be in a downloadable. And so I need to get this here. Here's the first one. Now, like I said, I'm giving you measurements to make two cards. All right. So the first piece of card stock you're going to cut in, uh, well, first you'd score it at one inch increments, four sections, then you cut it in half. And once you cut it in half, then you mark it at a one and a quarter here and you cut up the triangle. So let me show you the card again. 
Whoops, where did I do that? Here it is. All right, so let me open it up and show you on here how that goes. So right there, okay? And then you cut that little piece off, all right? And you have the accordion. So that's the first piece of cardstock. The second piece of cardstock, and I need to get my pieces out so you can see where all my pieces are. All right, here we go. First, you cut it in half at four and a quarter. Okay, so that's this right here. Then you turn it, okay, and you'll cut at three and a quarter here. So you have three and a quarter by four and a quarter. Then you cut it at five, but you trim off this little bit here to make it five by three and three quarters. Then you have these two one inch strips. And finally, this is just left over. The other strip, the second strip, you're going to cut at five and a half. Okay, there you go. Then you'll cut this one at two and a half and trim it down to four inches. And then cut this one at two and a half, trim it down to four inches. And so this is all just leftover pieces. And you'll have all the pieces to make two cards. So let me pull out my cardstock. And so that, 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 um, uh oh, I lost some pieces. Hold on. Here we go. Yes. So I've already cut all this out. This piece is pretty self explanatory. Uh, that's the base. I'll come back to that in a minute. These pieces, though, however, um, let me show you with the card. So I have the card here. And you've got these three triangles right here. Well, this triangle came from this piece, and this triangle came from this piece, and this triangle came from this piece. These are called half rectangle triangles, half rectangle triangles. All right. And I have already cut my rectangles in half because I made the first card so you could see what it looked like. These are the other pieces. So this piece goes here, okay? This piece, oh, let me get this designer paper out of the way, goes here. And then this one I'd already glued the designer paper on goes here, okay? So I have those pieces that I'm going to be using on the card with you all, okay? And so I don't need these three pieces anymore because I already have them here. And I didn't want to make a whole bunch of half rectangle triangles, <laughs> but I did want to show you how we get the triangles. Okay. I hope that is clear. Clear as mud, right? Um, next thing is the other pieces. So this is the two and a half. Where's my template? Here it is. So this is the two and a half by four right here. The other one is on this card right there. Whoops. I'm off the screen. Sorry. So the, the other one here is right here already, okay? Um, and then this one inch goes here, okay? And the other one inch, I've already used it, is right here. All right, so there's that's that. Besides the uh, base colored cardstock, and remember, whatever color you choose is fine, but you'll need two sheets of it to make this. And I'm using Early Espresso of course, because it's a coffee card. Um, you'll also need some more paper. You're going to need a white piece. Sorry. This white piece is cut at four and a quarter by nine and a quarter. I think that's right. Let me double check my measurements. DSP. Um, no, I'm sorry. White. Here we go. Yes. Four and a quarter by nine and a quarter. Four and a quarter by nine and a quarter. And that is this piece right here. Okay. The other white piece, this is four by five and a half, that goes on the back of the card here for the pocket. All right. So that's that piece. You also have this Calypso coral piece, and that is this piece right here. Okay. And then you also have um, some designer paper. Uh, besides this designer paper, I cut this one right here, and that measurement is... Um, where is it? Two and a quarter by three and three quarters. So two and a quarter by three and three quarters. So that's that. Um, 
Oh, yeah. The designer paper that goes on the triangles. So let's get that out. Let me show you that. Put all this here. This is five inches by 10 and a quarter. Double check. Yeah. Five inches by 10 and a quarter. And one more time, let me tell you, all these measurements are going to be on the blog and downloaded uh, for you on the email later today. So don't worry about writing all these measurements down. But we are going to cut this into different pieces. The first one we're going to cut at, I'm always looking for my directions. Hold on. Here they are. <laughs> um, five inches, uh, no, three and three quarters. So it is five inches already. So three and three quarters. And I'm going to turn this over so you can see it better. There we go. So that's that piece right there. And you would cut that and then cut it in half and you'd have two triangles. The next piece is cut at um, four and a half, uh, three and a half. I'm sorry, three and a half. OK, so then you cut it at three and a half. And, but you have to trim off the bottom here. So it's a three and a half by four and a half. OK, and then finally, this piece that I've already glued to the uh, cardstock right here. This is the last piece and it is cut and then trimmed down at, what is this one? This is a three by four. So three inches by four inches. Okay. All right. One more thing before we get started putting it together is the direction of your DSP. It is most, it is easiest to use a non-directional paper. Okay. However, if you really want to use a directional paper, you, it needs to be vertical, but that it can be turned upside down. OK, so the vertical can also be turned upside down because these pieces. All right. Let me show you here one more time. So this piece here, when you cut it, it gets turned and put here on the second card. So you'll need to be able to turn it upside down. And if you had it like, well, it's hard to do this way. But if you had it this way, when you turn it this way, it, it changes direction. But it's. Like I said, just easier to use non-directional paper. <laughs> so it doesn't matter which way it goes. Okay. All right. So I've already cut my designer paper. I'm not going to cut this piece up anymore. Um, I saved it for something else. Let's get started putting this together. You need a scoring tool. Okay. So you need a scoring tool. And you need your base. All right. So come in here. And you're going to score one inch increments four times. So you're going to make four one inch sections. All right. So we just start at the one and get your cutting blade out of the way. You don't want to cut it. All right. So one, then move it to two, then move it to three, and then move it to four. And like I said, you would have this as one whole piece and you would score at first and then cut it in half. But because I, I'm doing two different cards for your, so I could have one made and one for you. I, I cut it in half first, but it doesn't matter. Now, the next thing though, is you need to mark one and a quarter down and I'm going to get a, let's see, I have a white gel pen. That's, we can use that. You should be able to see a white gel pen. Um, take this and right along this mark here, you need to find one and a quarter. Okay. So, um, I'm just going to put that right there and the one and a quarter is right there. Okay. So you can barely see that tick mark, but then what you do, so one, two, three, then you want this piece here. Okay. So you have two tick marks. I know it's really hard to see on my camera, but just trust me. Oh, and there's a picture of this, um, template in the instructions. So. Let me show you one more time on that. So this is what I'm doing right here. I'm cutting this piece off right here. Okay. And we just take the blade and go, whoop, cut that right off of there. And then this, you're not using. All right. We're going to accordion fold. So this first line here, fold it in and get your bone folder. It's really helpful to have the bone folder. All right. There we go. And then fold it back. And then fold it back. So you're going back and forth each time. 
and finally this one. Yay! Okay, so we have our base. So you should have this little accordion, okay? And you should have that base. Excellent. Now, what is the next step? To cut off this, I mean to cut off, not cut off, uh, glue this piece on, <laughs> okay? Um, it is the four by five and a quarter. So four by five and a quarter. And it's just a background piece. It doesn't have to be white. I mean, I just made mine white. You can make it designer paper if you wanted. Whoops. But you do want it to be even. <laughs> All right, that's good. All right, so there we go. We've got that piece on there. The next thing we're going to do is put our triangles together. So let me grab all my pieces. Don't need that. I need these. Okay. So grab some glue. And like I said, this one's already done for me. Um, you want the corner in the bottom left like that. Okay. So you want them in that direction. Then you put your designer paper on each one. Okay. Mm -mm. And just a little bit. This glue is so sticky. You do not need very much at all. A very thin line and it will hold forever. Okay. Shaking a little bit. That's okay. And just get that on there. Kind of wiggle it around till it gets even. That looks good. Okay. And if you do get a little off, that's all right. This piece. Okay. Perfect. And then, like I said, I had already done this one. Now, these pieces are going to be put on the accordion, okay? So the first one, just right here, you don't need very much. And that goes on this first flap, just right there in the corner. Can you see what I'm doing? Move this over. We're just, and I like glue because I can move it, make sure it's right where I want it, all lined up, top and bottom. And then I'm just going to hold it for a minute. All right, and once it is set, we can do our next one, the next size. So that was the smallest one. This is the next smallest one. And you only need it on the one side right there, okay? And it goes right here, okay? And just, just you flatten that out. There we go. Make sure it's all even where you want it, okay? Hold that in place for a minute. Okay. And our last one, we're going to be making our pocket. Now, I am noticing some splotches here on my white. Okay, there we go. This one, you need the glue on the corner. You're going to make the pocket with this one, okay? So, just kind of a little bit of glue, hardly any, just a thin, thin line. Okay, but you only want it on the L. You don't put it here because this is the opening for your pocket. And then turn this over and stick this in the corner. And that should line up corner to corner. Okay, top to bottom. There we go. Okay, there are our three half rectangle triangles. Okay. And when you accordion fold it closed, you have that. Isn't that cool? Now, that's the base. We're going to create a little gift card to put in here. And then I'm also going to decorate the front here. I thought it looked a little plain with just the paper. So we put I put a couple of coffee cups on here. All right, so let's do the little gift card holder. And that is all of these pieces here. This piece here. Okay, and this piece here. All right, so we've got all that. We need our scoring tool again. And take our four and a quarter by nine and a quarter. And first we score it at uh, two and three quarters. So come in here. 
two and three quarters. Get your blade out of the way. Okay, two and three quarters. Then we're scoring it at five and a half. And finally, we're scoring it at eight. Okay, so let me pull that out and go to eight. And eight. There we go. One thing, uh, if you have one, you may not have one, but I have an inch uh, hole punch here. And I like to, um, on this piece here, this is going to be where the gift card tucks in. I like to go in here and just make a little notch. Um, it's not necessary. You don't have to. I just like how it looks so that when you do fold that over, it kind of actually looks like something goes in there. And once again, we need the glue because we don't want this to open. And glue is my strongest adhesive that I have. Okay, and I'm just going to close that. Hold it for a sec. Oh, and I want my bone folder too. This is nice and... It snaps on the glass. <laughs> I love this glass mat. Um, for those of you who joined uh, Stampin' Up! during January and February, I hope you chose the mat. If not... Um, I believe you're able to purchase it if, if you're a demonstrator. If you're not a demonstrator, I don't think you can get it. Um, I'm not for sure on that, though. Okay, so here is the card. Um, I want to stamp the inside, so let me grab uh, my ink and my stamps. I love this coffee splat. <laughs> That's so cool. And then this one is, this one's on me. Okay, this one's on me. And staying with the colors with the designer paper, Calypso Coral. Okay. Isn't that fun? Oh my gosh, I love that. Okay. And plenty of room to write a message. So we've got that. Now we're going to close this this way. Okay, get my bone folder again. And I'm going to create a strip. I'm going to put this brown strip here and this strip. This strip, I'm going to get happy birthday on there. Um, I got my happy birthday stamp from artificially, uh, artistically inked. I like the bold straightness and it fit perfectly across there. So we're going to use that, get the Calypso Coral again. Okay. And some coffee splats. go. Nice coffee splatters. <laughs> all right, so we've got that all stamped. We're going to adhere this to this. And that just lines up on the edge. These are both four and a quarter long, and they're going to fit right across here at four and a quarter. Okay. Okay. And I kind of have a little bit of the card there. Um, I didn't put it right up to the edge. All righty. Now I've got that. Whoops. And now we close it this way. Let me go ahead and do the bone folder on there. There we go. And this piece um, gets this, and I should have another piece of brown. Hold on. Here it is. Yeah, so this gets put on here like this. Is that right? Where's my card? Oh, goodness. Ah, oh, here it is. Yeah, that's right. Here it is. So we have it like that. Okay. 
And then this gets put on here. And finally, this gets put on the Calypso Coral one. So it's a fun gift card. If you're ever looking for a gift card holder idea, there we go. Now, the last thing I'm going to do is put some coffee mugs on the front to kind of give it a little bit more. All right, so there's that. And that gets tucked inside right here like that. Um, you could put a bow on there. You could you could bling it up with some of the bling. Um, but I have, I am going to take this piece. And I found that this kind of ribbon, um, it, it doesn't stick very well. Uh, I use the adhesive, the seal probably would be better. I'm just using the regular seal here, but the, the seal plus, um, or even the tear tape would be good. That would hold it really well, but sometimes this comes off, but no biggie. Um, Next thing are my two little coffee mugs. And I just punch, I just cut these out from the designer pay. I mean, from the cardstock um, with the dies. And I need some glue on the back. There we go. Okay. And voila, we are finished with this adorable little card. So let me, yeah. Okay, hold that for a sec while I get my other one out. So we have that there, and then we have this one here. So you have two cards with all the cutting instructions, okay? You have two accordion, uh, triangle accordion pocket cards. I hope you enjoyed this fun fold Friday. Um, like I said, all your dimensions, all your measurements, everything are going to be on the email later today. So be watching for that, or you can go to the blog and see them there also. Okay. Y'all have a blessed weekend. I will see you back here Monday night for Monday night stamping. Bye-bye. <laughs>